Hey there, friends. Not sure if you heard, but there's a public housing complex in Colorado that told the residents in order to live in those apartments that they need to give up their guns. They didn't want any, any guns in their apartment complex. So if you didn't catch the story, here's part of it. Well, give up your gun or get out. That was the demand from the managers of a public housing complex for seniors in Colorado. They didn't want residents to keep any guns in their apartments. The managers backed down after a TV news report on this controversial move, but it does raise questions about what kinds of restrictions landlords can legally put on their tenants. So here we have a 77-year-old retired Marine and an avid hunter. He happens to have some guns. But the management company of the apartment complex basically said, you can't own those and live here. Unbelievable. You know, this is something I know a lot about. I'm a landlord. I own and rent property. I've been doing it for years now. And never once have I ever asked anybody if they have firearms, if they intend to keep firearms in their house. It's none of my business. This retired Marine, he's 77 years old. He is a hunter and he has always kept a gun in his apartment. And the apartment complex told him that he was going to have to get out. I mean, virtually be homeless, move on if he wanted to continue to keep his yeah. gun. And did they have any sort of legal uh, right to demand that? They absolutely did not. It's outrageous that they would try to violate his Second Amendment rights like this. He's 77 years old, he's fought for this country, he's done his service, and they want him to choose between having a home and his right to bear arms and protect himself in his home. They had no right to do this. Furthermore, that property was constructed with federal money, and it's illegal to prohibit legal gun ownership on government-funded property. They were all wrong on this. I think this whole gun-free zone thing is going to be popping up more and more in the future. In this case, it was a victory for the retired Marine. However, I do think that people are going to overstep their boundaries and say, you know what, this area, this is mine, and uh, it's a gun-free zone. So I encourage you to stand up and fight against this. Either boycott the businesses that have, you know, the little, the little gun with the circle and the X through it. I, I don't even go in those places. And if there's an apartment complex or something like this that you know about, call the local media, expose them, and maybe they will back down and, and stop infringing on people's rights the way this place had. And in a case like this, you would have to balance that Second Amendment right with their, their uh, ability to do free enterprise and make the decision on how they want their tenants to live. Unfortunately, in this case, he was already living there. He already had a lease. He already had an agreement. And they're trying to change the terms midstream. And that's just wrong. It's important to understand that it's our constitutional right to keep and bear arms and that no individual can take that away from us. I appreciate you watching, and you guys be safe.